Hi, this is Sweet Jim coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in my room here, trying to get things organized and get things straightened around in my room. <coughs> I want to talk about uh, the brutal bashing of older women, older women, women in general, but particularly older women. Um, harsh criticism and brutal bashing of older women. It's just, it's horrible. It's terrible. I mean, it's really, um, getting, I mean, being a woman, it's a lot of pressure, um, being a woman, uh, regardless of race. Um, but you know, black women, we get more scrutiny. But all women, um, just it's hard just being a woman in general. Um, everybody, society, uh, people don't understand why women get things, plastic surgery and things. And some women have died trying to get uh, butt enhancements and things like that. It's because it's a lot of pressure put on women to be beautiful. It's so much pressure on us women to be beautiful uh, it, it gets to be overwhelming mentally. I mean, if you, it's really hard to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a woman in, in, in this society. It's really, really hard to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a woman. Um, really hard to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a black woman because we get, all the, what all the rest of the women get, we get it 10 times more. <laughs> so, um, but just all women in general, so much pressure is is um on women to look beautiful, uh, be a certain size, uh, to have a certain look, and and as women get older, um, you know, women change, um, people change, and men change as they get older too. Um, people change, you know, it's just a part of the aging process. People get older, um, men get older too. They always try to bash women, but they be getting older too. Um, certain things take place as women get older. It's just, it's just, it's life, you know, it's just how life is. It's life. Um, that's why they say when a man gets with a woman, he needs to love her for what's on the inside. That He needs to love her for what's on the inside don't be so focused about what she looks like on the outside because beauty fades. Beauty fades. And, you know, he needs to love that woman for who she is on the inside as a person and not so be, wor be so worried about what she looks like on the outside. And, you know, um, celebrity women really, really, really get it hard. I mean... Um, celebrity women get bashed terrible um the they having a uh sex in the city reboot um uh it's called they they renamed it because it's called just like that because you know they're all married now and um and so they renamed it it's called just like that and it's like they've had several blogs on facebook with trashing Sarah Jessica Parker, just trashing her, um, talking about it's some of the comments that they're making about her is just terrible. Some of the comments that they're making about her is just horrible. Some of the things that they're saying about her is just terrible. I really feel bad for her because, um, I, I come in and defend her a couple of times on, on a couple of them. It's just the things that they're saying about her is just horrible. You know, they're talking about, I can really appreciate the fact that she hasn't um, had a lot of plastic surgery done. Um, she's, you know, trying to age gracefully and, you know, I can, I can respect that about her. Um, it, it doesn't appear that she's had a lot of plastic surgery done. Um, but the thing is with Caucasian women, with Caucasian women, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker is very, very fair skinned. Her skin is very fair. And with Caucasian women that have very fair skin, they, um, the aging, um, they don't, they age a little bit more harshly. You know, they have to, 
really, really, really um, take good care of their skin and everything and really, really stay out of the sun when they're younger because the the um, the aging process is a little bit harsher because they are fair skin. Um, fortunately, you know, the more melanin you have in your skin, the better the aging process. Um, um, but when the, the more fair the skin is, the more, um, a little bit more advanced, not the case for all fair, extremely fair skin people, but, um, in her case, you know, um, she's very, very fair skin. So, but I, I just, you know, I think she, she looks okay to me. I mean, you know, she's getting older, you know, and you know, the people that's been bashing her and, you know, talking about her really bad and. It's just, you know, that's just crazy. You know, I don't understand why people want to sit up and talk about people all the time, you know? It's like, I don't know, they expect these ladies, and I think they're talking about the other, um, Kristen Davis, is that her name? The one that plays um, Charlotte. It's talking about, and then they're talking about her because they're saying that she's had too much work done, and it's like, the it, it, they, it, it's so critical on older women. It's like, when the aging I mean it's just horrible it's just they're so critical on older women it's like yes these women are in their 50s now so they're not going to look the same as they did when they was in their 20s and 30s you know what I mean I mean women women age men age too and it's just every the society is so hard on women it's so harsh on women as women get older and it's like it's unrealistic to expect them to look the same as they did back in the day because they're older now and you know this is ridiculous I mean I just don't understand you know where people why people have to be so so mean you know people have to be so mean and so harsh um and black women are not exempt. Black women are not exempt either. I mean, um, us black women, we age slower and um, the more melanin in our skin, um, like some of the darker, the, the very uh, dark skinned black women, you know, they talk about how um, dark they are, you know, because a lot of all the colorist, colorism in the black community talk about uh, dark skinned black women, but dark skinned black women age better than all of us. You know, they age the best. Because the darker the skin and the more melanin in the skin, the better, the slower the aging, you know, the, you know, but eventually um, us black women, I mean, we, um, I, I think that black people age faster on the inside. I think white people age faster on the outside, but I think black people age faster on the outside. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I've been actually doing some research about that. Um, and if I find more information, I'll, I'll probably do a video about it. But I think that us black people age faster on the inside. And it's because of it's a lot of factors involved in that. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but, you know, uh, physically, you know, uh, aesthetically, black women age a lot slower. But uh, age eventually do catch catches up with us. It, it catches up with us. And then it happens in subtle ways. It happens in more subtle, subtle ways with black women. Like me, in my case, um, my hair is almost completely gray. I've, I'm losing my hair. And stay tuned. I'm going to do another video talking about that. Um, my hair has gotten thinner. I'm, 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 I'm losing hair. That happens to a lot of black women. Not all black women, but, you know, it's happening in my case. Um, I noticed that um, my hair is almost completely gray so I mean the aging the aging process happens in more subtle ways with black women you know a little bit of extra weight gain and things like that it's more harder to keep weight off and that's a problem for all women across the board um, I get on these menopause and stay tuned I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some videos talking about menopause and stuff I get on these menopause blogs and all women of all races are sharing their stories and they're talking about the different thing. I put my little two cents in and they talk about all the different things that they're going through. Menopause is a booger bear. That menopause is a booger bear. It, it, that menopause ain't no joke. And that affects all women of all races. It, it don't, it, menopause don't discriminate. It, it affects all women. 
So I like to get on these blogs where, you know, all all women from all races come in and they talk about what they're going through. And it's, man, it's rough. And and so a lot of things happen to women. It, like I say, the aging process is more, a little bit more subtle. For us black women, it shows up in more subtle ways, but it eventually catches up to us physically, you know. And so it just... The aging process of getting older and stuff, and then the society, everybody is so harsh on women as women get older. And I was just looking at a video today of O'Shea Duke Jackson. You know, it's interesting how he always trashes celebrity black women. He loves to trash celebrity black women. He always talking about celebrity black women. And I think it, he's, he's got low self-esteem. He's always talking about celebrity black women. In this particular video, he's talking about Janet Jackson. I had to come in and I had to check him. Okay. That's my girl. I'm, okay. I, I I said, hold on, Janet. I got you, girl. I had to come in and I had to check him. I'm sorry, but I, I, I had to say something because he's talking about how she picked up weight. And I'm like, say, really? I'm like, you don't know what Janet is going through. She's me and her. We're close to the same age. You know, as as women get older, menopause is harder. Our metabolism slows down. Menopause is taking place. And it's a, a very, very difficult for us to lose weight as we get older. And I say, you don't know what Jan is going through. She could be sick. You don't know what she's going through. I said, it's not okay for you to come on here and bash her like this. It's just, it's crazy, you know. And then, then people won't understand, like, some of these women will go have plastic surgery and some, unfortunately, some women die trying to have plastic surgery. It's because of the pressure. It's so much pressure put on women to be beautiful and to look a certain way and have a certain aesthetic and, and all this stuff, all the pressure that is put on women. Uh, and that's black women, white women, women of all races it is so much pressure put on us to maintain. Because even me, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just messed up. You know, the fact that you know, I'm losing my hair. Like I say, I'm going to do another, I'm going to do a whole nother video talking about that, but it's just really, really messing with my self-esteem and, you know, and, and being a black woman dealing with hair loss is, is, it's a whole different ball game, you know, but like I said, I'm going to go more into that on another video, but it, it's very difficult, you know, and then when you, it doesn't help when you got these men um, coming in and, and bashing women and talking about women, how we done hit the wall and all this kind of stuff. And then the thing is, men age too. They don't understand that they age too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they age too. Men gain weight around the mixed section. Some of them be looking like they're nine months pregnant. Um, I forget. I read, I did a little research. I think I forgot, but it's a, it's a reason why I think because they said something about testosterone levels are dropping men and they gain most of their weight around their midsection. Men go through what they call male menopause. So, you know, men go through it, too. But it's like it's so much harsher, so much harsher on women. The criticism and stuff is so much harsher on women. It's just ridiculous. It, and it's reading the blogs. And I feel really bad for the celebrity women because the celebrity women have more pressure on them because they're in the public eye and you know it's like ugh. i i really man it must be really difficult as a celebrity woman to really really maintain a healthy it's harder for the average woman for the average woman walking around out here it's hard to maintain a healthy self-esteem and then you add the element of being a celebrity woman it's even harder man and it's like man and it's like, you know, older women should not be compared to younger women. You know, it, it's it, don't don't do that. Don't compare older women to younger women. Because when women get a certain age, things are going to change. You know what I mean? And you can't compare older women to younger women. It's no comparison. You know, women are different at different ages. And so I just think it's... It's really sad that we live in a society. And the, the Bible says a woman's true beauty is on the inside. A woman's true beauty is on the inside. That's what the Bible says. Our true beauty. I think my, my best attributes are what's going on on the inside. 
what I got going on on the inside are my, I, I have my best attributes are what's going on inside, inside, as far as my personality, my spirituality, everything, my, my kindness, you know, everything, you know, I try to show fruitage of the spirit, you know, those are my, some of my strong, really strongest attributes of what's going on on the inside. Not what's going on out here, you know, because beauty fades. And so I think that any man judges a woman by aesthetically, by according to how she looks, that man is not a good mate. If he's, if he's so busy worried about what you look like on the inside, he is not a good mate. He is not a good man. A good man is someone that truly loves you for who you are on the inside. He is not going to care about you getting gray hair. He's not going to care about you losing your hair. He's not going to care about um, whatever else physically that's going on with you because he loves you for who you are. I admire those men. The men that I admire is the men that have been in marriages with women for 30 plus years, 20, 30 plus years. And they, and they see their wife going through the age process, the aging process. And they're still staying with her and they're still sticking by her. They're not cheating. Believe it or not, there are men out here that actually don't cheat. And they actually do love their wives and they stick by their wives. Believe it or not. And they're, they, they don't, they're not cheating on their wives. They love their wives. If their wife is experiencing some type of health issues or whatever, he there for her. He takes care of her. I, man, I, man, kudos to those men of all races. I mean, I take my hat off to those men. And to me, those are real men. They're, those are real men that um, have a pure heart. But any man out here that's going to be so worried about how a woman looks and if she gets to look old, she did, she gets a certain age, she gets to look, so I got to go get me something else. And that's, you know, any man with that mindset, guess what? You don't need to have, you don't need, you don't deserve a good woman. You know, a man that that has that mindset, he doesn't deserve a good woman, in my opinion. If you, if a man that thinks like that, he does not deserve a good woman. He does not deserve it because that the reality is, is that women get older and people just need to stop all this bashing older women, period, white, black, or whatever. People need to stop bashing older women, period. Women, stop bashing women, period. Period. Point blank. You know, you look at a picture of a celebrity woman and she's at a certain age and all you can do is pick up, pick apart her flaws and talk about, and it happens here on YouTube too. People body shame on YouTube. People talk about um, um, the women here on YouTube is on a much smaller scale, but you know, I think I've had people come in my comment section and call me fat or whatever. Um, it's just, it's sad. And us black women get it the most from our black men. We get it more from our black men than anybody. It's crazy. And it's like this. If a man can't love you for who you are on the inside, you know, if he can't love what's on the inside, then you don't need him. You don't need him, ladies. If, if he's so worried about what you're looking like on the inside and he can't love you, he's always trying to nitpick you and talk about your weight. And, and, and make comments about your weight or whatever like that. You don't walk away from him. You run away from him. He he doesn't deserve you. If he can't see, if he can't see your true beauty, if he can't see your true beauty as a woman, he doesn't deserve you. Because a woman's true beauty is what's going on on the inside. Her character, her personality, her spirituality. That's where the beauty, that's where the beauty is. If she's loving and she's caring, those are, those are the qualities that you need to be looking for in a woman. Is she long suffering? Those are the qualities that you need to be looking for in a woman, not for what she looks like on the inside. Because everything what she looks like on the inside is going to fade. Like these men, like I say, these men are with these women 20, 30, 40 plus years. I'm sure that the wife don't look the same as she did when she was younger, when he first married her. But he's still sticking by her. To me, that is the most beautiful thing. That is so beautiful. They weathered the storm. And they're still sticking by the women. 
just society just need to be. I just think that society needs to stop being so hard on women because we got more and more women that are dying because they're trying to get these plastic, these, these, these surgical procedures. Um, they said it was this black woman that had four kids. I think she had four kids or something like that. And she went overseas to get a butt enhancement and she died. She died and she left her babies behind. And to say, I don't understand what's like black women already got nice size, but I don't know why. That's a whole nother video though. I'm I'm gonna go into that in a whole nother video. I don't know why they feel the need to do all this. I just don't understand it. And you ain't sticking a needle in my butt. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's the pressure. It's because of the pressure. And then it, and then the white women are putting a Botox in their lips, and that's poison. That stuff is poison. But they're putting it in their lips to trying to look more beautiful. Keep what God gave you. But it's that's because of all the pressure in society. And then they and then they still get talked about. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. But stay tuned. I'm gonna do a whole nother video talking about that. It's because all the pressure that's put on women to 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 look to be to maintain a, a certain beauty standard. And then you have these women that are absolutely gorgeous in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and some of them 60. And people still want to have something to say about them. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So I just think that all this bashing of older or black or black white women or women, period. All this bashing of older women, it's it's just ridiculous. It just needs to stop. Let us women age gracefully. Focus on our inner beauty and the things. Sarah Jessica Parker is she's talented, you know she's talented. I loved her on that show. I, I, you know, I loved her. I, you know, it, it, she's talented. Okay, she has a large body of work, and so people need to be focusing on that instead of worrying about what she looked like. She's been with her husband. Her husband, her man, ain't got a problem with it. Her man still with her. Matthew Broadway, I think who that's who she's married to. Hey, her man like it. He's still with her. He's still sticking by her. Hello. I'm just saying. So people just need to stop with this. Uh, and then when a, and then when a sister and then when a woman wanna like Mary J. Bly, she did a photo shoot. And then like my she doesn't. Oh, she she's uh. You know, when a, when a woman tried to feel beautiful, she just turned 50, and I think she did a photo shoot. People got, black men had something to say about that. You know, women want to take a photo shoot and feel beautiful. I thought she looked absolutely gorgeous. She looks beautiful for her age. And then her brothers got something to say about that. Uh, she, uh, they call it, um, what do they call that when women, they call it, um, uh, thirst trapping. That's the name. They they talk, they said she was thirst trapping, or she thirst trapping and all, and she was promoting her because she's got a, a a wine line that she has out. She was taking the pictures promoting the wine line, and and she you know people a a, a woman want to feel confident and do a photo shoot. I mean I like to do one. That's on my bucket list. I want to do me a glam shoot. That's on my bucket list. I want to do a glam shoot. Hello, it wanted it 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 makes you feel confident. It makes you feel beautiful when you get all glammed up and get in front of the camera and take pictures. It makes you feel beautiful, you know. It ain't nothing wrong with a woman. And then they talking about she she uh she she clout chasing, or I mean not clout chasing. Um, uh, she thirst trapping. That's what they, she that's what they say. Oh, uh, she thirst trapping. Why why she got to be all that? Why she got to be thirst trapping? It's because she want to feel beautiful. A woman want to feel beautiful and do a glam shoot of any age. Why she got to be all that? Why she got to be thirst trapping? And why you got to put all these labels on her? It's just ridiculous. I just, ugh, I'm just over it. I'm just over all this harsh critical judgment of older women. I'm sick of it and I'm tired of it. You know, so let me know in the comment section how you ladies feel out there. Let me know. Hit me up. Ladies of all races, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about that. About this harsh judgment of older women. It just needs to stop. It's just crazy. Judgment of women, period, just needs to stop. Women, because women are dying out here trying to get these surgical procedures and they're dying out here. 
society, people need to stop being so harsh on women, period. It just needs to stop. So let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on that. Men in the comment section, be nice. But I want to hear all women of all races. I want to hear some. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Okay, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button when you, if you're new. Uh, like in the notification bell. So every time I do a video, you'll be notified. Real talk. Until the next video. Peace and love. This is Sweet June.